you've got to be cross when you say yeah. it. You've got to be really cross. You'd be like, Hebecha. Oh, yeah. No, it's actually sore. I sprained my tongue. Guys, can I please get a splint for my tongue? <laughs> it's sprained. <laughs> How's it, guys? Oh my god, this is very exciting. Um, I've decided to become an investor. People don't know that um, I'm actually charitable, I'm, I'm business minded, I'm very much the Martha Stewart of South Africa. And um, it's not just me who said it. My next guest is an amazing, amazing entrepreneur. I saw Jacob and Julius meet for tea one time, and I said, do you know who can do tea better? The Brits. Um, so I decided to have a tea party of my own um, and invite Nina, who's another Brit. Um, she said she's Serbian. We're not going to put that in because <laughs> it's a bit ghetto. Nina, how are you? Uh, how are you, doll? I'm okay. Sorry. It's just, um, you know, Sundays I do a lot of manufacturing. It's my manufacturing day. So Kels called me over because she knew that I've been like launching my new product, White Woman Tears, and I feel like we've got so much in common. It's actually going to be the most famous tea this year, I think. Um, we've got White Woman Tears tea. It's very, very special. Um, it's a very new product. South Africa's excited about it because it's just been a long time since they've been effective. Happen, right? We have to. This just, product. This is my product. Yeah. So it's been in my family for generations. Yes. Like, I know that you guys have a trust fund, but we've been like working really hard. You know, my family came here mm -hmm. with nothing. Zero. Nothing. That's why when they say white privilege, I'm yeah. like, oh, I don't understand. They can't... Some families have Mazdas. Yeah. <laughs> What I've decided to do, oh. in order to market your product better, because I think White Woman Tears is amazing. Thank you. But you do need, like, you know, wine and cheese. Yeah. I thought, White Woman Tears and pork. Are you doing a pairing for me? I am. I knew it. So I've got a couple of things, yeah. Um, and it's obviously escort because, <laughs> am I crazy? No. Yeah. Um, so I think we're going to try some foods. Pair them with the three different white tears. Thank now, this you. was sadness, this was anger, and this was entitlement. The, um, no, the entitlement. Varieties. And sometimes there's the laughter from mocking people. You know, Kells is an absolute genius. I think that it was brilliant to pair the white woman tears with the variety of pork dishes. Like the tomato jam went really well with the mockery and white woman tears. Listen, I'm so glad I found you. I think so. what we can do, we just need a BEE partner, but we should really go into business. Mm. BEE is, is a real problem. Listen, John and I have been sitting strategizing how to get this thing, this ill, the social ill out of the country, because it's reverse apartheid. And when whites are the victims, it's a bigger crime. We can find anyone. Actually, to be fair, I can play both. Can you? BE and not, because if you look at me, I've got very Mediterranean shade. I so people do look at me and think sometimes, like Skibinga, and then when I go out into the shade, mm. I sit in the shade for a long time, then they can see the well, translucent. What if you marry a guy and then you just change your surname? True. Mm. Mm. And you can, be like, you can be like Kels Shabangu. Ooh, Shabangu and partners, mm. Shabangu and sons. I heard once you go black, you, you'll never go back. And I want to go back. Oh, you know who's a great person to go into business with is Moosey. Oh my God. He's he free has a white now. wife. He does have a white he does, wife. So he understands how to speak yeah. to us. Too. Should I have another bite? Are you should. Sure Can you I get him? You... <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay, 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 hang on, hang on. But speaking of taking a bite out of things, yeah. after he took a bite out of the DA, ah. today I almost lost my mind. Ah. Um, oh my God, sorry, they're coming. <sighs> Okay, so he left the DA. I was sad about that. Me too. Yeah. Really? Yeah, because, I mean, I wanted him. I mean, at the same time, though, I was like, it's getting a bit too um, African because then there was Moosey and Mzile mm. and Mabali. It was just like, oh, I'm mm. the NC. Yeah, yeah, what yeah. is going on? <laughs> um, so it was very nice to just mm. see John rise again, mm. Helen rise again. Mm. And for him to go today and say what he said about the DA as if he never got money and yeah. food on his table. Because no, it's of rude. It's, it's rude. It's incredibly rude. I just think, don't bite the hand that feeds you, Moosey. Port Elizabeth. Um, yeah, so Port Elizabeth is so funny. I think it's pronounced, no, <laughs> I'm not sure. I always saw this coming. I mean, Port Elizabeth was named after our great queen. She means a lot to me, personally. Um, colonialism was sort of powered by her, and I just thought, look at us now, we speak English, we live in houses like this, granite tops. So how dare we go now and say, if you to Elizabeth, and change it to an African name. And I know that this is an African city and an African country, but like, the names have all been Elizabethan English for years, and now you're just gonna change it. I don't like change, especially because it excludes half of the country. Now we can't pronounce where we live. I can't even say it, I have to just point at the map. We'll just go. 
got a headache. Yeah. So this is amazing. It's from it's it's I don't even know what it's called. Um, it's actually called a. Oh god, this word is so hard. But it's an Elizabethan. It's made in Port Elizabeth. I so knew it. To use the other name, you uh -huh. guys will not force me. Kebeha. See, work. It's like not everyone needs to be Mary McKeba. Do you know what I mean? This isn't the click song. So, mm. cheers to the revolution. La Viva. Amanda La. Mm. Oh, that's sweet and sour. Oh, that is a white woman's tears. What, right? This is yours. This is it's organic. I, I told found. you that they're all organic. Okay. It's been in our generation for years, mm. and I make them on Sundays oh, because wow. that's when Black Twitter really comes mm. at me, and I can actually formulate when those tears. We have to deal with consequences. The tears come. Yeah, very absolutely. Because the whole point is, this is made from pure entitlement. Yes, that's the Speaking hero of ingredient. Entitlement. Do you know whose tears I actually bought last week? Who's? It was amazing, Lindsay. Oh, I love her. You know, she is, she's the best. <sighs> Lindsay Decklinger is Kells' hero. Well, the first thing about Lindsay that no one knows is that she's got a medical degree from the online university of bullshit. Uh, you know what I really... Hold on, there's a black mask. Mask on. I knew it. Sorry. I really take as soon as chances, you see them, eh? it's just, it's like, why on earth? I don't know why they think they can get away mm. with this. But not the white guys. No, not you guys. <laughs> no mask for you. So when Kels is such a racist. You know, I just want to tell you, Kels. So, like, I think it's important that you learn that you're a little bit racist. Mm. So, like, I've been going to racist lessons. Yes. Um, racist camp. Racist camp. Uh, so Adam, Adam Casavet is, uh, is doing this great camp. He's actually doing one next week. Yeah. I'm, I'm actually going. Yeah, so, because actually excited. a lot of the stuff that you were saying, like, it's rude. I mean, it's not. You know why? You, because why? it's the truth. I mean, and I live in my truth. Mm, I don't know. But also, if you're going to speak like this, then we can't go into business together. I've learned. I've, I've gone to Adam's workshop. I am no longer a racist. I've got a certificate. Well, Is this Escort? Uh, oh, I'm glad they didn't change the name of that town. <laughs> mm. The best, the best part of the whole experience is there was such a variety of pork dishes. Like there were the cheesy ones, and then there was like the. It wasn't just bacon. That was what I was so surprised at. There were so many different products, and it was just like. It was like a, that was one of my favorite words, smorgasbord of pork. It was amazing. Okay, so that one's gonna go with this. Yeah. This chili because it's spicy. Tomato but jam. Tomato. Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, so cool. I don't know how you, which one you wanna start with? Okay, that's amazing. I can't even eat too much because then designers will be saying that I can't fit their dresses. Do you know what I mean? And we wouldn't want that. So let me just take a little bit more. Don't forget to keep watching more videos on Escort's YouTube channel and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe so you can see more of Who Got Child on Twitter and our take on it.